In physics, equations of motion are equations that describe the behavior of a physical system in terms of its motion as a function of time. More specifically, the equations of motion describe the behavior of a physical system as a set of mathematical functions in terms of dynamic variables, normally spatial coordinates and time are used, but others are also possible, such as momentum components and time. The most general choice are generalized coordinates which can be any convenient variables characteristic of the physical system. The functions are defined in a Euclidean space in classical mechanics, but are replaced by curved spaces in relativity. If the dynamics of a system is known, the equations are the solutions to the differential equations describing the motion of the dynamics. There are two main descriptions of motion, dynamics and kinematics. Dynamics is general, since momenta, forces and energy of the particles are taken into account. In this instance, sometimes the term refers to the differential equations that the system satisfies e.g., Newton's second law or Euler-Lagrange equations, and sometimes to the solutions to those equations. However, kinematics is simpler as it concerns only variables derived from the positions of objects, and time. In circumstances of constant acceleration, these simpler equations of motion are usually referred to as the SUVAT equations, arising from the definitions of kinematic quantities, displacement s, initial velocity u, final velocity v, acceleration a, and time t. Equations of motion can therefore be grouped under these main classifiers of motion. In all cases, the main types of motion are translations, rotations, oscillations, or any combinations of these. A differential equation of motion, usually identified as some physical law and applying definitions of physical quantities, is used to set up an equation for the problem. Solving the differential equation will lead to a general solution with arbitrary constants, the arbitrariness corresponding to a family of solutions. A particular solution can be obtained by setting the initial values, which fixes the values of the constants. To state this formally, in general an equation of motion m is a function of the position r of the object, its velocity the first time derivative of r, v. Topic. Dr. dt, and its acceleration the second derivative of r, a. d2 r, dt2, and time t. Euclidean vectors in 3D are denoted throughout in bold. This is equivalent to saying an equation of motion in R is a second-order ordinary differential equation in R m r t r t r t t equals zero. Display style m left math bf r t math bf dot r t math bf d d o t r t t right equals zero, where t is time, and each overdo denotes one time derivative. The initial conditions are given by the constant values at t equals zero, r zero, r zero. Display style math bf r zero quad math bf dot r zero. The solution r t to the equation of motion with specified initial values describes the system for all times t after t equals zero. Other dynamical variables like the momentum p of the object or quantities derived from r and p like angular momentum can be used in place of r as the quantity to solve for from some equation of motion although the position of the object at time t is by far the most sought after quantity Sometimes the equation will be linear and is more likely to be exactly solvable In general the equation will be nonlinear and cannot be solved exactly so a variety of approximations must be used the solutions to nonlinear equations may show chaotic behavior depending on how sensitive the system is to the initial conditions. History Historically, equations of motion first appeared in classical mechanics to describe the motion of massive objects. A notable application was to celestial mechanics to predict the motion of the planets as if they orbit like clockwork. This was how Neptune was predicted before its discovery, and also investigate the stability of the solar system. 
It is important to observe that the huge body of work involving kinematics, dynamics and the mathematical models of the universe developed in baby steps, faltering, getting up and correcting itself, over three millennia and included contributions of both known names and others who have since faded from the annals of history. In antiquity, notwithstanding the success of priests, astrologers and astronomers in predicting solar and lunar eclipses, the solstices and the equinoxes of the sun and the period of the moon, there was nothing other than a set of algorithms to help them. Despite the great strides made in the development of geometry made by ancient Greeks and surveys in Rome, we were to wait for another thousand years before the first equations of motion arrived. The exposure of Europe to the collected works by the Muslims of the Greeks, the Indians and the Islamic scholars, such as Euclid's Elements, the works of Archimedes, and al khwarizmis treatises began in Spain, and scholars from all over Europe went to Spain, read, copied and translated the learning into Latin. The exposure of Europe to Arabic numerals and their ease in computations encouraged first the scholars to learn them and then the merchants and invigorated the spread of knowledge throughout Europe. By the 13th century the universities of Oxford and Paris had come up, and the scholars were now studying mathematics and philosophy with lesser worries about mundane chores of life—the fields were not as clearly demarcated as they are in the modern times. Of these, compendia and redactions, such as those of Johannes Campanus, of Euclid and Aristotle, confronted scholars with ideas about infinity and the ratio theory of elements as a means of expressing relations between various quantities involved with moving bodies. These studies led to a new body of knowledge that is now known as physics. Of these institutes Merton College sheltered a group of scholars devoted to natural science, mainly physics, astronomy and mathematics, of similar in stature to the intellectuals at the University of Paris. Thomas Bradwardine, one of those scholars, extended Aristotelian quantities such as distance and velocity, and assigned intensity and extension to them. Bradwardine suggested an exponential law involving force, resistance, distance, velocity and time. Nicholas Oresme further extended Bradwardine's arguments. The Merton School proved that the quantity of motion of a body undergoing a uniformly accelerated motion is equal to the quantity of a uniform motion at the speed achieved halfway through the accelerated motion. For writers on kinematics before Galileo, since small time intervals could not be measured, the affinity between time and motion was obscure. They used time as a function of distance, and in free fall, greater velocity as a result of greater elevation. Only Domingo de Soto, a Spanish theologian, in his commentary on Aristotle's physics published in 1545, after defining uniform difform motion, which is uniformly accelerated motion, the word velocity wasn't used, as proportional to time, declared correctly that this kind of motion was identifiable with freely falling bodies and projectiles, without his proving these propositions or suggesting a formula relating time, velocity and distance. De Soto's comments are shockingly correct regarding the definitions of acceleration acceleration was a rate of change of motion velocity in time and the observation that during the violent motion of ascent acceleration would be negative. Discourses such as these spread throughout Europe and definitely influenced Galileo and others, and helped in laying the foundation of kinematics. Galileo deduced the equation S equals one half GT2 in his work geometrically, using the Merton rule, now known as a special case of one of the equations of kinematics. He couldn't use the now familiar mathematical reasoning. The relationships between speed, distance, time and acceleration was not known at the time. Galileo was the first to show that the path of a projectile is a parabola. Galileo had an understanding of centrifugal force and gave a correct definition of momentum. This emphasis of momentum as a fundamental quantity in dynamics is of prime importance. He measured momentum by the product of velocity and weight. Mass is a later concept, developed by Huygens and Newton. In The Swinging of a Simple Pendulum, Galileo says in Discourses that Every momentum acquired in the descent along an arc is equal to that which causes the same moving body to ascend through the same arc. His analysis on projectiles indicates that Galileo had grasped the first law and the second law of motion. He did not generalize and make them applicable to bodies not subject to the Earth's gravitation. That step was Newton's contribution. The term, inertia, was used by Kepler who applied it to bodies at rest. The first law of motion is now often called the law of inertia. Galileo did not fully grasp the third law of motion, the law of the equality of action and reaction, though he corrected some errors of Aristotle. With Stephen and others Galileo also wrote on statics. 
He formulated the principle of the parallelogram of forces, but he did not fully recognize its scope. Galileo also was interested by the laws of the pendulum, his first observations of which were as a young man. In 1583, while he was praying in the cathedral at Pisa, his attention was arrested by the motion of the great lamp lighted and left swinging, referencing his own pulse for timekeeping. To him the period appeared the same, even after the motion had greatly diminished, discovering the isochronism of the pendulum. More careful experiments carried out by him later, and described in his discourses, revealed the period of oscillation varies with the square root of length but is independent of the mass the pendulum. Thus we arrive at René Descartes, Isaac Newton, Gottfried Leibniz, et al., and the evolved forms of the equations of motion that begin to be recognized as the modern ones. Later the equations of motion also appeared in electrodynamics, when describing the motion of charged particles in electric and magnetic fields, the Lorentz force is the general equation which serves as the definition of what is meant by an electric field and magnetic field. With the advent of special relativity and general relativity, the theoretical modifications to spacetime meant the classical equations of motion were also modified to account for the finite speed of light, and curvature of spacetime. In all these cases the differential equations were in terms of a function describing the particle's trajectory in terms of space and time coordinates, as influenced by forces or energy transformations, however, the equations of quantum mechanics can also be considered equations of motion, since they are differential equations of the wave function, which describes how a quantum state behaves analogously using the space and time coordinates of the particles. There are analogues of equations of motion in other areas of physics, for collections of physical phenomena that can be considered waves, fluids, or fields. <laughs> <laughs> Kinematic equations for one particle <laughs> Kinematic quantities From the instantaneous position R. Topic R T instantaneous meaning at an instant value of time t, the instantaneous velocity v. V t and acceleration a equals a t have the general coordinate independent definitions. V equals d R d t a equals d v d t equals d 2 r d t 2 Display style Math BF V equals FRAC D Math BF R D T quad Math BF A equals FRAC D Math BF V D T equals FRAC D carrot two Math BF R D T carrot two. Notice that velocity always points in the direction of motion, in other words, for a curved path it is the tangent vector. Loosely speaking, first order derivatives are related to tangents of curves. Still for curved paths, the acceleration is directed towards the center of curvature of the path. Again, loosely speaking, second-order derivatives are related to curvature. The rotational analogs are the angular vector angle the particle rotates about some axis theta. Topic <laughs> theta t angular velocity omega. Omega t and angular acceleration alpha equals alpha t theta equals theta n caret omega equals d theta d t alpha equals d omega d t Display style bold symbol theta equals theta hat math bf n quad bold symbol omega equals frac d bold symbol theta dt quad bold symbol alpha equals frac d bold symbol omega dt, where n is a unit vector in the direction of the axis of rotation, and theta is the angle the object turns through about the axis. 
The following relation holds for a point like particle orbiting about some axis with angular velocity omega v equals omega times r display style math bf v equals bold symbol omega times math bf r where r is the position vector of the particle radial from the rotation axis and v the tangential velocity of the particle for a rotating continuum rigid body, these relations hold for each point in the rigid body. Topic: <laughs> Uniform acceleration. The differential equation of motion for a particle of constant or uniform acceleration in a straight line is simple. The acceleration is constant, so the second derivative of the position of the object is constant. The results of this case are summarized below. Topic: Constant translational acceleration in a straight line. These equations apply to a particle moving linearly in 3 dimensions in a straight line with constant acceleration. Since the position, velocity, and acceleration are collinear parallel and lie on the same line, only the magnitudes of these vectors are necessary, and because the motion is along a straight line, the problem effectively reduces from 3 dimensions to 1. V equals a t plus v zero one display style begin aligned v and equals at plus v underscore zero quad one end aligned r equals r zero plus v zero t plus one two a t two two display style begin aligned r and equals r underscore zero plus v underscore zero t plus t f r a c one two a t caret two quad two end aligned r equals r zero plus one two v plus v Zero T three V two equals V O two plus two A R minus R zero four R equals R zero plus V T minus one two A T two five Display style begin aligned R and equals R underscore zero plus T F R A C one two left V plus V underscore zero right T quad three V carrot two and equals V underscore zero carrot two plus two A left R R underscore zero right quad four R and equals R underscore zero plus V T T F R A C one two A T carrot two quad five end aligned where R zero is the particle's initial position R is the par tickle's final position V zero is the particle's initial velocity V is the particle's final velocity A is the particle's acceleration T is the time interval here A is constant acceleration, or in the case of bodies moving under the influence of gravity, the standard gravity G is used. Note that each of the equations contains four of the five variables, so in this situation it is sufficient to know three out of the five variables to calculate the remaining two. In elementary physics the same formulae are frequently written in different notation as V equals U plus A T one S equals U T plus one two A T two two S equals one two U plus V T three V two equals U two plus two A S four S equals V T minus one two a t two five display style begin aligned v and equals u plus at quad one s and equals ut plus t f r a c one two at caret two quad two s and equals t f r a c one two u plus v t quad three v caret two and equals u caret two plus two as quad four s and equals Vermont t f r a c one two at caret two quad five end aligned where u has replaced v zero s replaces r and s zero equals zero. They are often referred to as the SUVAT equations, where SUVAT is an acronym from the variables, S equals displacement S0. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Initial displacement u. Initial velocity v. Topic: <laughs> Final velocity a. Acceleration t equals time equals topic constant linear acceleration in any direction equals the initial position initial velocity and acceleration vectors need not be collinear and take an almost identical form the only difference is that the square magnitudes of the velocities require the dot product the derivations are essentially the same as in the collinear case v equals a t plus v 0 1 r equals r 0 plus v 0 t plus 1 2 a t 2 2 r equals r 0 plus 1 2 v plus v 0 t 3 v 2 equals v 0 2 plus 2 R minus R zero four R equals R zero plus V T minus one two A T two Five display style begin aligned math bf v and equals math bf a t plus math bf v underscore zero quad one math bf r and equals math bf r underscore zero plus math bf v underscore zero t plus t f r a c one two math bf a t caret two quad two math bf r and equals math bf r underscore zero plus t f r a c one two left math bf V plus Math BF V underscore zero right T quad three V carrot two and equals V underscore zero carrot two plus two Math BF a C D O T left Math BF R Math BF R underscore zero right quad four Math BF R and equals Math BF R underscore zero plus Math BF V T T F R A C one two Math BF A T carrot two quad five end aligned although the Torricelli equation 4 can be derived using the distributive property of the dot product as follows: v2 equals v v equals v0 plus a t v0 plus a t equals v02 plus 2 t a v0 plus a 2 t 2 display style v caret 2 equals math bf v c d o t math bf v equals math bf v underscore 0 plus math bf a t c d o t math bf v underscore Score zero plus Math BF A T equals V underscore zero carrot two plus two T Math BF a C D O T Math BF V underscore zero plus A carrot two T carrot two to a R minus R zero equals two of V zero T plus one two A T Two equals two T A V zero plus a two T two equals V two minus V zero two 
Display style two Math BF a CDOT Math BF R Math BF R underscore zero equals two Math BF a CDOT left Math BF V underscore zero T plus TFRAC one two Math BF A T carrot two right equals two T Math BF a CDOT Math BF V underscore zero plus A carrot two T carrot two equals V carrot two V underscore zero carrot two V two equals V zero two plus two a R minus R zero Display style therefore v caret two equals v underscore zero caret two plus two math bf a c d o t math bf r math bf r underscore zero. Topic applications. Elementary and frequent examples in kinematics involve projectiles, for example, a ball thrown upwards into the air. Given initial speed u, one can calculate how high the ball will travel before it begins to fall. The acceleration is local acceleration of gravity g. At this point one must remember that while these quantities appear to be scalars, the direction of displacement, speed and acceleration is important. They could in fact be considered as unidirectional vectors. Choosing s to measure up from the ground, the acceleration a must be in fact minus g, since the force of gravity acts downwards and therefore also the acceleration on the ball due to it. At the highest point, the ball will be at rest, therefore v equals zero. Using equation four in the set above, we have s equals v two minus u two minus Two G Display style S equals FRAC V carrot two U carrot two minus two grams. Substituting and cancelling minus signs gives S equals U two two G Display style S equals FRAC U carrot two two grams. Topic. Constant circular acceleration The analogues of the above equations can be written for rotation. Again these axial vectors must all be parallel to the axis of rotation, so only the magnitudes of the vectors are necessary. Omega equals omega 0 plus alpha t theta equals Theta zero plus omega zero t plus one two alpha t two theta equals theta zero plus one two omega zero plus Omega T Omega two equals Omega zero two plus two alpha theta minus theta zero theta equals theta zero plus omega t minus one two alpha t two display style begin aligned omega and equals omega underscore zero plus alpha t theta and equals theta underscore zero plus omega underscore zero t plus t f r a c one two alpha t caret two theta and equals theta underscore zero plus t f r a c one two omega underscore zero plus omega t omega Carrot two and equals Omega underscore zero carrot two plus two alpha theta theta underscore zero theta and equals theta underscore zero plus Omega T T F R A C one two alpha T carrot two end aligned where alpha is the constant angular acceleration, omega is the angular velocity, omega zero is the initial angular velocity, theta is the angle turned through angular displacement, theta zero is the initial angle, and T is the time taken to rotate from the initial state to the final final state topic general planar motion 
These are the kinematic equations for a particle traversing a path in a plane, described by position r equals r t. They are simply the time derivatives of the position vector in plane polar coordinates using the definitions of physical quantities above for angular velocity ω and angular acceleration α. These are instantaneous quantities which change with time. The position of the particle is r equals r r t theta t equals r e caret r display style math bf r equals math bf r left r t theta t right equals r math bf hat e underscore r where r and e circumflex theta are the polar unit vectors. Differentiating with respect to time gives the velocity v equals e caret r d r d t plus r omega e caret theta Display style math bf v equals math bf hat e underscore r frac dr dt plus r omega math bf hat e underscore theta with radial component drive dt and an additional component r omega due to the rotation. Differentiating with respect to time again obtains the acceleration a equals d two r d T two minus R Omega two E carrot R plus R alpha plus two Omega D R D T E carrot theta Display style math bf o equals left frac d caret two r d t caret two r omega caret two right math bf hat e underscore r plus left r alpha plus two omega frac doctor d t right math bf hat e underscore theta, which breaks into the radial acceleration d two r d t two centripetal acceleration r omega two. Coriolis acceleration 2 omega drive dt and angular acceleration r alpha special cases of motion described by these equations are summarized qualitatively in the table below two have already been discussed above in the cases that either the radial components or the angular components are zero and the non-zero component of motion describes uniform acceleration topic general 3d motion In 3D space, the equations in spherical coordinates r, theta, phi with corresponding unit vectors are, e circumflex theta and e circumflex phi, the position, velocity, and acceleration generalize respectively to r equals r t equals r e caret r v equals v E carrot R plus R D theta D T E carrot theta plus R D phi D T sin theta E carrot phi equals a minus r d theta d t 2 minus r d phi d t 2 sin 2 theta e caret r plus r d 2 theta d t 2 
plus two V D theta D T minus R D Phi D T two sin theta cos theta E carrot theta plus R D two Phi D T two sin theta plus two V D Phi D T sin theta plus two R D theta D T D phi D T cos theta E carrot phi display style begin aligned math B F R and equals math B F R left T right equals R math B F hat E underscore R math B F V and equals V math B F hat E underscore R plus R F R A C D theta D T math B F hat E underscore theta plus R F R A C D Varfi D T sin theta math B F hat E underscore Varfi math B F a and equals left a r left frac d theta d t right caret two r left frac d var phi d t right caret two sin caret two theta right math b f hat e underscore r and plus left r frac d caret two theta d t caret two plus two v frac d theta d t r left frac d var phi d t right caret two sin theta cos theta right Math BF hat E underscore theta and plus left R FRAC D carrot two Varfi D T carrot two sin theta plus two V FRAC D Varfi D T sin theta plus two R FRAC D theta D T FRAC D Varfi D T cos theta right Math BF hat E underscore Varfi end aligned. In the case of a constant phi this reduces to the planar equations above. Topic: Dynamic equations of motion. Topic: Newtonian mechanics. The first general equation of motion developed was Newton's second law of motion, in its most general form, states the rate of change of momentum p. Topic: P t. mv t of an object equals the force f equals f x t v t t acting on it f equals d p d t display style math b f f equals frac d math b f p d t the force in the equation is not the force the object exerts Replacing momentum by mass times velocity, the law is also written more famously as F equals m a display style math bff equals m math bf a. Since m is a constant in Newtonian mechanics, Newton's second law applies to point-like particles and to all points in a rigid body. They also apply to each point in a mass continua, like deformable solids or fluids, but the motion of the system must be accounted for, see material derivative. In the case the mass is not constant, it is not sufficient to use the product rule for the time derivative on the mass and velocity, and Newton's second law requires some modification consistent with conservation of momentum, see variable mass system. It may be simple to write down the equations of motion in vector form using Newton's laws of motion, but the components may vary in complicated ways with spatial coordinates and time, and solving them is not easy. Often there is an excess of variables to solve for the problem completely, so Newton's laws are not always the most efficient way to determine the motion of a system. In simple cases of rectangular geometry, Newton's laws work fine in Cartesian coordinates, but in other coordinate systems can become dramatically complex. 
The momentum form is preferable since this is readily generalized to more complex systems, generalizes to special and general relativity It can also be used with the momentum conservation. However, Newton's laws are not more fundamental than momentum conservation, because Newton's laws are merely consistent with the fact that zero resultant force acting on an object implies constant momentum, while a resultant force implies the momentum is not constant. Momentum conservation is always true for an isolated system not subject to resultant forces. For a number of particles see many body problem, the equation of motion for one particle I influenced by other particles is d p i d t equals f e plus i does not equal j f i j display style frac d math bf p underscore i d t equals math bf f underscore e plus sum underscore i n e q j math bf f underscore i j where pi is the momentum of particle i f i j is the force on particle i by particle j and f e is the resultant external force due to any agent not part of system Particle I does not exert a force on itself. Euler's laws of motion are similar to Newton's laws, but they are applied specifically to the motion of rigid bodies. The Newton-Euler equations combine the forces and torques acting on a rigid body into a single equation. Newton's second law for rotation takes a similar form to the translational case. Tau equals d l d t Display style bold symbol tau equals frac d math bf l d t by equating the torque acting on the body to the rate of change of its angular momentum l analogous to mass times acceleration. The moment of inertia tensor i depends on the distribution of mass about the axis of rotation, and the angular acceleration is the rate of change of angular velocity. Tau equals i alpha. Display style bold symbol tau equals math bf i c d o t bold symbol alpha. Again, these equations apply to point-like particles or at each point of a rigid body. Likewise, for a number of particles, the equation of motion for one particle i is d l i d t equals tau e plus I does not equal J tau I J display style frac d math bf l underscore i d t equals bold symbol tau underscore e plus sum underscore i n e q j bold symbol tau underscore i j where Li is the angular momentum of particle I, tau Ij the torque on particle I by particle J, and tau E is resultant external torque due to any agent not part of system, particle I does not exert a torque on itself. Applications Some examples of Newton's law include describing the motion of a simple pendulum minus m G sin theta equals m d two l theta d t two d two theta d t two equals minus g l sin Theta display style mg sin theta equals m frac d caret two l theta d t caret two quad right arrow quad frac d caret two theta d t caret two equals frac g l sin theta and a damped sinusoidally driven harmonic oscillator f zero sin omega t equals M D two X D T two 
plus two zeta omega zero d x d t plus omega zero two x Display style f underscore zero sin omega t equals m left frac d caret two x dt caret two plus two zeta omega underscore zero frac dx dt plus omega underscore zero caret two x right. For describing the motion of masses due to gravity, Newton's law of gravity can be combined with Newton's second law. For two examples, a ball of mass m thrown in the air, in air currents such as wind described by a vector field of resistive forces r equals r r t minus g m m r 2 e caret r plus r equals m d 2 R D T two plus zero D two R D T two equals minus G M R two E carrot R plus Display style FRAC GMM Math BF R carrot two Math BF hat E underscore R plus Math BF R equals M FRAC D carrot two Math BF R D T carrot two plus O quad right arrow quad FRAC D carrot two Math BF R D T carrot two equals FRAC GM Math BF R carrot two Math BF hat E underscore R plus Math BF O where g is the gravitational constant, m the mass of the Earth, and a equals r per meter is the acceleration of the projectile due to the air currents at position r and time t. The classical n-body problem for n particles each interacting with each other due to gravity is a set of n nonlinear coupled second-order odes d 2 r i d t 2 equals G I does not equal J M I M J R J minus R I three R J minus R I Display style FRAC D carrot two Math BF R underscore I D T carrot two equals G sum underscore I N E Q J FRAC M underscore I M underscore J Math BF R underscore J Math BF R underscore I carrot three Math BF R underscore J Math BF R underscore I where I equals 1 2 n labels the quantities mass position etc associated with each particle equals topic analytical mechanics equals using all three coordinates of 3d space is unnecessary if there are constraints on the system if the system has n degrees of freedom, then one can use a set of n generalized coordinates q t equals q1 t, q2 t, qn t to define the configuration of the system. They can be in the form of arc lengths or angles. They are a considerable simplification to describe motion, since they take advantage of the intrinsic constraints that limit the system's motion, and the number of coordinates is reduced to a minimum. The time derivatives of the generalized coordinates are the generalized velocities q equals d q d t display style math bf dot q equals frac d math bf q dt the euler lagrange equations are d d t l 
Q equals L Q display style frac d dt left frac partial l partial math bf dot q right equals frac partial l partial math bf q where the Lagrangian is a function of the configuration q and its time rate of change dq dt and possibly time t l equals l q t q t T display style L equals L left math BF Q T math BF dot Q T T right setting up the Lagrangian of the system then substituting into the equations and evaluating the partial derivatives and simplifying a set of coupled n second order odes in the coordinates are obtained Hamilton's equations are P equals minus H Q Q equals plus H P display style math BF dot P equals frac partial H partial math BF Q quad math BF dot Q equals plus frac partial H partial math BF P where the Hamiltonian H equals H Q T P T T display style h equals h left math bf q t math bf p t t right is a function of the configuration q and conjugate generalized momenta p equals l q display style math bf p equals frac partial l partial math bf dot q in which q equals q1 q2 qn is a shorthand notation for a vector of partial derivatives with respect to the indicated variables see for example matrix calculus for this denominator notation and possibly time t setting up the hamilton ian of the system then substituting into the equations and evaluating the partial derivatives and simplifying a set of coupled 2 and first order odes in the coordinates chi and momenta pi are obtained the Hamilton Jacobi equation is minus S Q T T equals H Q P T display style frac partial S math BF Q T partial T equals H left math BF Q math BF P T right where S Q T equals T one T two L Q Q T D T Display style S Math BF Q T equals in underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two L Math BF Q Math BF dot Q T D T is Hamilton's principal function, also called the classical action as a functional of L. In this case, the momenta are given by P equals S Q Display style Math BF P equals FRAC partial S partial Math BF Q. Although the equation has a simple general form, for a given Hamiltonian it is actually a single first order nonlinear PDE, in n plus 1 variables. The action S allows identification of conserved quantities for mechanical systems, even when the mechanical problem itself cannot be solved fully, because any differentiable symmetry of the action of a physical system has a corresponding conservation law, a theorem due to Emmy Noether. All classical equations of motion can be derived from the variational principle known as Hamilton's principle of least action. Delta S equals zero. Display style delta s equals zero, stating the path the system takes through the configuration space as the one with the least action s. Topic: Electrodynamics. 
In electrodynamics, the force on a charged particle of charge Q is the Lorentz force F equals Q E plus V times B Display style Math BF F equals Q left Math BF E plus Math BF V times Math BF B right Combining with Newton's second law gives a first order differential equation of motion in terms of position of the particle m d 2 r d t 2 equals q e plus d r d t times b Display style m frac d caret two math bf r dt caret two equals q left math bf e plus frac d math bf r dt times math bf b right or its momentum d p d t equals q e plus p times b m display style frac d math bf p dt equals q left math bf e plus frac math bf p times math bf b m right the same equation can be obtained using the lagrangian and applying lagrange's equations above for a charged particle of mass m and charge q l equals 1 2 M R R plus Q A R minus Q Phi Display style L equals T F R A C one two M Math BF dot R C D O T Math BF dot R plus Q Math BF a C D O T dot Math BF R Q Phi where A and phi are the electromagnetic scalar and vector potential fields. The Lagrangian indicates an additional detail, the canonical momentum in Lagrangian mechanics is given by P equals L R equals M R plus Q A Display style math bf p equals frac partial l partial dot math bf r equals m dot math bf r plus q math bf a. Instead of just mv, implying the motion of a charged particle is fundamentally determined by the mass and charge of the particle. The Lagrangian expression was first used to derive the force equation. Alternatively, the Hamiltonian and substituting into the equations h equals p minus q a 2 2 m plus q phi display style h equals frac left math bf p q math bf a right caret 2 2 meters plus q phi can derive the lorentz force equation Topic: General Relativity. Topic: Geodesic Equation of Motion. The above equations are valid in flat spacetime. In curved space spacetime, things become mathematically more complicated since there is no straight line. This is generalized and replaced by a geodesic of the curved spacetime, the shortest length of curve between two points. For curved manifolds with a metric tensor g, the metric provides the notion of arc length. See line element for details. The differential arc length is given by d s equals g alpha beta d x alpha d x beta display style ds equals sqrt g underscore alpha beta dx caret alpha dx caret beta 
and the geodesic equation is a second order differential equation in the coordinates. The general solution is a family of geodesics d 2 x mu d s 2 equals minus gamma mu alpha beta d x alpha d s d x beta d s Display style frac d caret two x caret mu d s caret two equals gamma caret mu underscore alpha beta frac d x caret alpha d s frac d x caret beta d s, where gamma mab is a Christoffel symbol of the second kind, which contains the metry c with respect to the coordinate system. Given the mass energy distribution provided by the stress energy tensor T ab, the Einstein field equations are a set of nonlinear second order partial differential equations in the metric, and imply the curvature of spacetime as equivalent to a gravitational field. See equivalence principle. Mass falling in curved spacetime is equivalent to a mass falling in a gravitational field, because gravity is a fictitious force. The relative acceleration of one geodesic to another in curved spacetime is given by the geodesic deviation equation d 2 she alpha d s 2 equals minus r alpha beta gamma delta d x alpha D S she gamma D X delta D S display style frac D carrot two she carrot alpha D S carrot two equals R carrot alpha underscore beta gamma delta frac D X carrot alpha D S she carrot gamma frac D X carrot delta D S where X a equals x2 alpha minus x1 alpha is the separation vector between two geodesics, d per deci second not just d per deci second is the covariant derivative, and r abgad is the Riemann curvature tensor, containing the Christoffel symbols. In other words, the geodesic deviation equation is the equation of motion for masses in curved spacetime, analogous to the Lorentz force equation for charges in an electromagnetic field. For flat spacetime, the metric is a constant tensor, so the Christoffel symbols vanish, and the geodesic equation has the solutions of straight lines. This is also the limiting case when masses move according to Newton's law of gravity. <laughs> Topic: Spinning objects. Equals. In general relativity, rotational motion is described by the relativistic angular momentum tensor, including the spin tensor, which enter the equations of motion under covariant derivatives with respect to proper time. The Matheson-Papachnikov-Dixon equations describe the motion of spinning objects moving in a gravitational field. Equals. Topic: Analogs for waves and fields. Equals. Unlike the equations of motion for describing particle mechanics, which are systems of coupled ordinary differential equations, the analogous equations governing the dynamics of waves and fields are always partial differential equations, since the waves or fields are functions of space and time. For a particular solution, boundary conditions along with initial conditions need to be specified. Sometimes in the following contexts, the wave or field equations are also called equations of motion. Topic: <inaudible> Field equations. Equations that describe the spatial dependence and time evolution of fields are called field equations. These include Maxwell's equations for the electromagnetic field. Poisson's equation for Newtonian gravitational or electrostatic field potentials 
The Einstein field equation for gravitation Newton's law of gravity is a special case for weak gravitational fields and low velocities of particles. This terminology is not universal, for example although the Navier-Stokes equations govern the velocity field of a fluid, they are not usually called field equations, since in this context they represent the momentum of the fluid and are called the momentum equations instead. Topic. Wave equations Equations of wave motion are called wave equations. The solutions to a wave equation give the time evolution and spatial dependence of the amplitude. Boundary conditions determine if the solutions describe traveling waves or standing waves. From classical equations of motion and field equations, mechanical, gravitational wave, and electromagnetic wave equations can be derived. The general linear wave equation in 3D is 1 v 2 2 x t 2 equals 2 x display style frac 1 v caret 2 frac partial caret 2 x partial t caret 2 equals nabla caret 2 x where x equals x r t is any mechanical or electromagnetic field amplitude, say the transverse or longitudinal displacement of a vibrating rod, wire, cable, membrane etc. The fluctuating pressure of a medium, sound pressure The electric fields E or D, or the magnetic fields B or H The voltage V or current I in an alternating current circuit, and V is the phase velocity. Nonlinear equations model the dependence of phase velocity on amplitude, replacing V by V, X. There are other linear and nonlinear wave equations for very specific applications, see for example the Court Weg de Vries equation. <laughs> Quantum theory In quantum theory, the wave and field concepts both appear. In quantum mechanics, in which particles also have wave-like properties according to wave-particle duality, the analog of the classical equations of motion Newton's law, Euler-Lagrange equation, Hamilton-Jacobi equation, etc. is the Schrödinger equation in its most general form I psi t equals h caret psi Display style i h b a r f r a c partial psi partial t equals hat h psi, where psi is the wave function of the system, h is the quantum Hamiltonian operator rather than a function as in classical mechanics, and h is the Planck constant divided by two pi. Setting up the Hamiltonian and inserting it into the equation results in a wave equation. The solution is the wave function as a function of space and time. The Schrödinger equation itself reduces to the Hamilton-Jacobi equation when one considers the correspondence principle, in the limit that h becomes zero. Throughout all aspects of quantum theory, relativistic or non-relativistic, there are various formulations alternative to the Schrödinger equation that govern the time evolution and behavior of a quantum system, for instance. The Heisenberg equation of motion resembles the time evolution of classical observables as functions of position, momentum, and time. If one replaces dynamical observables by their quantum operators and the classical Poisson bracket by the commutator, the phase space formulation closely follows classical Hamiltonian mechanics, placing position and momentum on equal footing. The Feynman path integral formulation extends the principle of least action to quantum mechanics and field theory, placing emphasis on the use of a Lagrangians rather than Hamiltonians. See also <laughs> <laughs>